They're off in pacing. Ready cash. Ready willing and able. Takes that lead in a hurry as three wide as they come off the gate. Now Town Gazelle moves swiftly up along the inside and right there in between horses. Blue Mat Lad. They race into the back stretch. And it's Town Gazelle out there in that. Blue Mat Lad on the outside. Ready cash sits third. They head on out of the quarter mile mark. Oaks Enforcer got away racing four. Dancers of Legacy fifth. Hasty Hall is there sixth. Then comes Chris Anuk. Followed by Abs Inspiration and Armbro Viper. That opening quarter of blistering 26 and four. They battle for the lead through the fire turn the first time. On the outside, Chip Noble with Blue Matt Lad. They've got a neck on top. Battling back, Jimmy P and Town Gazelle. Into the lane they come. They're heading down to the halfway point of the race. As a ready cash, looking him over third for Mike Wilder, moving up along the outside now. Here's Walter Case and Oaks Enforcer, and they're charging right up on the outside. Tightening in at the rail, Dancer's Legacy, the half, 55 and 1. They go roaring into the club turn now in her payoff half mile. And it's Oaks Enforcer, out there has that lead of two, starts them in the back lane. Down goes all the setting, second a length and a half. Now looking to get loose from between horses, Dancer's Legacy, found room along the inside. Hasty Hall fourth, outside fading back, ready cash. Then comes Chris on Newt. That is Blue Matt Ladd along the outside. Armor of Viper, the trailer. Abs Inspiration, they're at three quarters. They ding dong on the front end as they clock a 124. On the outside, there goes Dancers Legacy waltzing right up the takeover. And now roaring three wide on the outside. Bill O'Donnell and Hasty Hall. They're going right up and bang, they got that lead. Around they come to the head of the lane. And on the outside, Hasty Hall will turn him down. As Dancers Legacy Bentley back on the inside, outside. Town Gazelle, down they come in the first division of the Miller Lake Cleveland Classic. It's Hasty Hall on the inside, Dancers Legacy. Hasty Hall, Dancers Legacy inside. Hasty Hall and Bill O'Donnell in the first division, 154 and 1. And representing Tremonti Distributing, local distributors for Miller Lite and all the other fine Miller products, Mr. Jack Tremonti, Mike Tremonti, and Jack Finn. They're accompanied in the presentation by Northfield Park Associates Chairman, Mr. Brock Milstein. Your 3-2 exact is $65.20, trifecta 3-2-1, $503.20. Superfecta 3-2-1-7. $3,502.80. And the pick three, three of three, $402.20. On the next race tonight, your ninth race, pick three, exact and trifecta wagering. In the upcoming pick three, races nine, 10, and 11, there's one change in the 11th race. Eight Cam's Rocket is second, has been scratched. Scratch eight Cam's Rocket from the 11th race. And now we're going to head down in just a moment to the winner's circle to Dave Bianconi. I'm here with uh, Bill Wellwood, winning trainer of uh, Hasty Hall. Actually, you're daughter Paul is listed but it's good to have you here Bill uh, you of course a, a member of the Canadian Harness Racing Hall of Fame Bill O'Donnell a longtime member of the uh, overall Harness Racing Hall of Fame and you uh, two veterans come down from Canada with a very nice upset win here in the Cleveland Classic you have to be thrilled well thank you very much I uh, am pleased to be to be spoke of in the same breath with them O'Donnell's and Campbell's and Ramon's and whatnot, but I'm very proud to be inducted. 
Now, Bill, this horse has been racing uh, mainly in overnight races. This is his real first uh, stakes event of the season, but he showed he does belong uh, tonight. Yes, I always thought he was a legitimate contender, but he's not without his problems and, uh, uh, you know, specifics I can't give, but he's not perfect yet. Well, you've certainly had a ton of success down here. You won the Cleveland Class, Miller Lite Cleveland Classic and Battle of Lake Erie uh, with Village Connection. Village Jiffy also raced very well here. We're certainly glad to have you back. I assume this one's going to go uh, to the Million Dollar North America Cup eliminations next week. Well, we got our entry fee, but I, I will seriously consider it. All right. Congratulations, Bill. You got one more coming up in the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. Maybe we'll see you back here again. Thank you very much. And we're here in the paddock with the winning driver, Hall of Famer Bill O'Donnell. A uh, nice uh, welcome to Northfield Park from the winner's circle back here, Bill. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, very nice. This colt raced a, a big mile, and of course we had Paula Wellwood on right before the race. She said that he kind of earned his way in with that last start. It looked like when you asked him to go on around those horses, he just did it real willingly. Yeah, he was really good. You know, he raced, uh, he's only had a couple three starts this year, and they brought him into this race, uh, you know, with caution, and uh, he raced really good. And of course, to Wellwoods, when they bring him down here, they've always got him ready. Have you been doing a lot of driving for them up on the OJC circuit and so on? Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, I've driven for him for years and years. Well, that's great. It's great to have you here in Northfield. And of course, you still got one left with Yankee Shadow. Do you know much about that one? Absolutely nothing. Well, you'll find out soon enough. Bill, we wish you best of luck in the second division. You know, we've got a streak going. Mark Ford had won three straight divisions. Paula Wellwood couldn't make it two in a row. We're going to have to see. And of course, you as a driver can make it two in a row very easily tonight, which means, of course, then you'd have to come back next year. Right. We're the only two that can do it right now. So <laughs> if we do it, we'll come back. There you go, Bill. Thanks a lot for the time and good luck in the 12th. Thank you. And back up here in the announcer's booth, here's how they finish the eighth race.